Here with me today, we have Sonny, who's going to take us through the nominees, and uh, we're going to find out who the winner is. So, Sonny, take it away. Thank you, Mark. So, welcome to the Super User Awards. This year, we've had the most amount of Super User nominees since the awards were launched in 2014. It not only shows the explosive growth of the OpenStack footprint, but also shows the continued demand for infrastructure powered by open source technologies. I'm very excited to introduce the 11 nominees that we have this year. Our first nominee is Catalyst Cloud. Founded in 2014 in New Zealand, Catalyst Cloud had never stopped innovating with open infrastructure and contributing back to the community. Our second nominee is Bloomberg, more specifically the cloud team at Bloomberg. They have deployed around 120,000 physical OpenStack cores over several thousand hosts in their clusters spread across, spread, spread across four sites. The next nominee is Cloudfire. Open infrastructure as the core component of its business, teams at Cloudfire use open source technologies, including OpenStack, Kubernetes, Ceph, and more. Next, we have ComponentSoft. Since teams at Compo ComponentSoft first delivered their OpenStack training, they have educated around 3,700 people to learn OpenStack, Kubernetes, Ceph, Ansible, and other cloud-native technologies. Our next nominee is Core Edge. Teams at Core Edge have been contributing to the Open Infra projects for the last 10 years. They are very active in attending meetups, providing feedback, code contribution, and discussion on blueprints. Next, we have Emotion Hosting. Rapid prototyping and research using OpenStack enabled Emotion Hosting to provision over, over 500 clouds on top of their hardware pool since January this year. The next nominee is OneCode. They are currently in the process of expanding their OpenStack deployment across Sydney, Brisbane, Guam, Los Angeles, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Manila. Our next nominee is OROC Technologies. The OROC Cloud is an open source OpenStack cloud running four US data centers and one Europe, Middle East, and Africa-based data center with over, over 1,500 cores. Next, we have OSISM GmbH. This OpenStack Ceph distribution from Germany has grown from one employee to 10. They run various OpenStack upstream projects and adopted the four opens technologies and adopted the four opens philosophy in their model. Our next nominee is the Binero Group AB, specifically the R&D operations and engineering teams. They are almost exclusively using open source technologies in their work and platforms. Among all the open infra projects, the ones they utilize the most are OpenStack, Ceph, and Zool. Last but not least, we have Yahoo, specifically the data center infrastructure cloud engineering team. With more than 4 million OpenStack cores across thousands of compute nodes and hundreds of thousands of physical servers in around 18 clusters, Yahoo has long been a strong advocate of, of open source projects. Wow, so uh, some incredible nominees, more than ever, as you said. Uh, so I guess we've come to that point where we get to find out who the winner is. So tell us who the winner is, Sunny. Okay, so um, for this year, our winner for the Super User Awards is Yahoo! Data Center Infrastructure Cloud Engineering Team. Congratulations. Wow, congratulations to Yahoo. Amazing. Uh, and all of our nominees, just incredible this year. Absolutely, yes. And uh, for Yahoo, although we can't celebrate with you all in person, we're very excited to celebrate with you virtually, and your Super User Awards trophy is on your way.